Is it just me, or is this circus really boring and hokey? What? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness a feat which can best be described as a miracle! Performed by the greatest magician of all time, Maximilian Galactica! Welcome to the Magician's Chambers. It's the real deal, Max Galactica! Yeah, I don't know if real is the right word. Tell me, what is it that you desire? What we desire is to provide you with the most gorgeous defense! My defense, you say? You make it sound as if I'm under arrest. Well, that's because you are. Honey, I am the Maximilian Galactica, you know. Yeah. Very big circuses, very big star. <laughs> And I'm doing fabulously well. Are you, though? You're pulling my wand! I'm afraid not. <laughs> For the love of God, you gotta help me! I think he's pulling my wand, and hard. Now there's the real deal. I know you're way too fabulous to do something like that. Have any idea why they arrested you? Well, it was because I was the last one to see him alive, that's all. Yes, that could be why. I'm not so sure about that plan. Yeah, I know that flying freak is guilty. With the way he treats everyone. Oh, it's Max, all right. It seemed like he'd go out of his way just to ridicule my act. He can rot in jail! They think it's Max? Well, he broke a bunch of my plates, so he's got a temper. <laughs> I think we know how everybody feels about Max. Well... I'm awful sorry for blowing my stack like that, y'all. No, I mean, please accept my dearest apologies, honeys. You mean issues like hitting Ben the ventriloquist? Yes, that's right. And making fun of Moe's corny puns? That as well. Why do you fight with them anyway? You're all part of the same circus. Look, as a serious artist and trained performer, I can't respect their cheap gags and shtick. I worked hard for 10 years on mastering the magical arts. Last year, I finally claimed the coveted top honor at the Magician's Grand Prix. The audience that day was astounded and amazed by my abilities. My heart sang. I was showered by applause and admiration. I could have passed away right there and died happy. I felt my entire life had led up to that glorious moment. Artists should strive for greatness. We should never stop learning and honing our skills. But all of those riffraff are staying in their comfort zones. I find it incredibly stale and trite. It's not like they're incapable of improving. They just choose not to. So that's what all of that was about. My behavior. Max, you're gorgeous! I shall disappear from this dreadful place in no time. Right, love? No! Today is your lucky day! You are the one millionth person to experience Mo the Clown's Cavalcade of Comedy! Smile or you can use this for your wine! But enough about current events! Get it! <coughs> I do. <laughs> Name an occupation or else. Yeah, Lawrence Curls, but I go by Mo. Professional jokester and funny man. I'll tell a hundred rapid fire jokes! <laughs> no joking! Now talk! See you later. <sighs> Together, we'll start our own circus. One that'll put a smile on everybody's face. <laughs> Darn it, Russ. What in the heck am I gonna do without you around? No! <laughs> Get to you. What do you mean? That night, the ringmaster made his way to the plaza. He'd been summoned there by a note. Awaiting him in the snow was a large wooden box. He wanted to see what was inside of it, what mystery it held. But it was locked, so no matter how hard he tried, 
he could not get it open. This left him no choice but to try to take the box with him. In order to lift the heavy box, the victim had to squat like so. And then, a deadly weapon came crashing down on a collision course with his head. What is that? Max Galactica? That's right. The murder weapon was quite a unique one indeed. The defendant's prize, which he won at the Magician's Grand Prix, a life-sized bust of himself. And now the trick that proves the witness is a magician in his own right. Take a slow motion look at the illusion he performed. And that is it, how the Ringmaster was killed by an illusion. It's true, and the only one who could have pulled this off was the man in the room directly above the crime scene, Acro. I'll say! <laughs> if you think the show's over, you must be living in denial! In denial! <laughs> Georgia! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, everybody! I'm as light as a feather, flying like a bird! <laughs> you want us to help that jerk? Why in the world would we want to do that? To return the favor, he renegotiated his salary with Barry. And though he asked to be paid more, the paperwork shows he wanted a raise for all of you, too. Are you kidding me? I'm completely serious. He wanted you to be more motivated. He may be egocentric, but this proves he truly cares about the circus. <sighs> that was a great show, Mo. But what is he talking about? What happened six months ago? Regina, listen to what he says. Then you should understand. Yeah, sure. Bailiff, apprehend this man. He'll be going straight to jail for what he's done. Wait! Regina? I haven't gotten a chance to apologize to you yet. Apologize? Please don't. All of this is my fault. First Matt, then Leon and Daddy. They're gone because of me. It's not him. It was me. I should take the blame. So you should put me in jail instead. Please! <laughs> That's kind of you. But I'm the only one who meant to kill anybody. Acro. Regina, do you understand why Acro tried to hide his crime? It's because he couldn't just run away. Oh, because Matt. That's right. Matt has been asleep for six months now. And when the day finally comes and he wakes up, Acro wanted to be by his side. What happened to Matt changed Acro forever? Do you understand what other people's lives can mean to somebody? I swear I'll be there for him while you're gone. Matt is going to wake up someday and I'll be there to tell him how much he means to you, Acro! <laughs> you done eat that! I mean, I'm not made of stone, but I better get rolling! <laughs> Jokes are still as corny as ever. Thank you very much, Joe, for visiting the Very Big Circus and watching me flex my comedy muscles. We really hope you enjoyed it, folks. I may be a silly clown, but I do take laughter very seriously. And I'm proud to be the new ringmaster of the greatest circus in the world. Hey, who turned off the lights? Here we go. Hold on, what's up? Gorgeous, but there's something missing here. Wait. Is that him? You can't claim to be the world's greatest circus without magic. Right, loves? No, you need the world's greatest magician. Hey there, Max. It is him, but why? I thought he had moved on from us. Gorgeous. If you're on a journey to be the best, I'll take that road with you on one condition. Yeah? And that is, of course, if you can somehow forgive my boorish behavior? Well, uh... Can you, Ringmaster? Uh... 
Yes, of course! If we have you, we can conquer anything we face! No, we'll conjure anything, know what I'm saying? We want to see the best circus in the world! Yeah, yeah. They really thought I was funny? That was a good one, Mo. <laughs> Okay, let's remember Russell's dream and put a smile on everybody's face! Yeah! You knew this was gonna happen, Nick? So gorgeous! gorgeous.